guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy, happy Friday. I just pulled into WW. It is roughly 6 20, 625. My meeting opens up at 630 for weigh-in and the actual workshop starts at 7. So I usually try to get here a little bit early so I can film for you guys before I head in for weigh-in. So how was your guys' week? My week overall was pretty good. I did have a couple of days of struggling. I don't know what it is, but this last week I was so tired and so hungry. Like, I'm talking exhausted, tired, like can go to bed at seven o'clock tired, just extremely, extremely exhausted and so hungry, so hungry all week, like crazy. And then yesterday started, I get up, I get ready for the day, I get ready to leave for work and shark week is upon us. That is why I've been hungry, that is why I've been tired. So that explains a lot of that. So today for me is day two and I am a hot mess of bloat. I do not feel well. I have cramps. I'm bloated. Like I'm visibly bloated in my stomach. Like I can feel the bloat. I didn't feel so hot yesterday, but today being day two is always the worst for me. <sighs> so I don't know. I don't know what this scale is going to look like because I am bloated. I don't feel well. Like I said, I had a couple of kind of rough days because of being excessively hungry. So honestly, I don't know what's going to happen when I step on the scale. I'm not anticipating a good thing, which kind of bums me out because overall I had a pretty good week despite being extremely hungry. But I know when Shark Week hits us women, it can play a lot of tricks on our body and our body can do a lot of crazy things causing a lot of problems. So I don't know what's going to happen when I step on the scale, but at least if I do have a gain or stay the same, I can rest assured that it isn't because of fat gain. It's because I have a horrible time once a month as a female. So we will see when I get on the scale. It could be better than I'm even thinking that it's going to be. I have no idea. So I'm going to hop into my workshop. I'm excited to stay. Listen to what they have to share with us. Because with the way I'm feeling, I definitely need the workshop. And I'll be back afterwards to share the topic recap and let you know how my weigh-in went. Hey guys, welcome back. I just pulled into work from my WW workshop. So I wanted to share with you the topic that we discussed. It was such a fabulous topic. It's actually something that I need to definitely take to heart. It is all about protein. Protein being a powerhouse. And I am thinking back over the food that I eat pretty regularly. And you know, I do eat a lot of protein. I eat protein with breakfast, with lunch, with dinner. But my snacks typically tend to veer away from protein. I always have a Bilt Bar. And as you know, there is 15 grams of protein in a Bilt Bar, which is fantastic. So I definitely feel like I'm getting some protein there. But then my other snack that I eat throughout the day is generally more carby. So I may have some Thinnables, some of the cheddar crackers from Thinnables. I may have, um, I've been having like a little package of the skinny dipped almonds. We got some samples at work and they're only two points. And yes, almonds have some protein, but I've, I tend to veer away from protein when it comes to snacking. So I, really need to rethink that. Maybe snacks should be filled with things such as hard-boiled eggs or jerky or pepperoni sticks or cheese, light cheese. I was thinking that, how good that sounds. I haven't had a light mozzarella cheese stick in I don't know how long. So it was actually a really good topic. We talked about why protein is important. So not only is protein a source of power, a source of nutrients for your body, it also keeps you full. It keeps you satisfied. It helps build muscle. And really, honestly, protein should be the foundation of every single meal. And I know that you shouldn't just have carbs. You should pair carbs with protein. So that is something that I'm going to definitely start thinking about and incorporating more into my eating now that we went through this workshop, because it really is something that I feel like I don't even notice that it's a struggle for me. And maybe that hinders my weight loss. So what do you guys think? What do you think about having carbs by themselves, pairing protein with carbs? What's your thought on protein for not only the base of your meals, but also as a 
huge proponent of your snacks throughout the day. Also, as you know, a lot of the zero point foods on WW are protein based. Things such as chicken, eggs, beans, those things are high in protein. So that is one of the reasons WW makes those zero points and veers you towards the direction of using those as not just the foundation of your meals, but also as your snacks. So think about what you eat throughout the day. Are you basing a lot of your meals around protein or are you having a lot of carb heavy meals? Now, in my opinion, carbs are not bad. I could never do a program that takes away carbs. Carbs also fuel your body. They give you energy. And I I don't think that it's healthy to remove any food group out of your diet completely. So I am not a proponent of low carb or no carb, but I'm also thinking that having an excessive amount of carbs isn't a good decision either. And I think back over my foods and they are a little bit carb heavy. So I'm going to, again, veer myself a little bit more towards protein. So let's talk about protein and some options for you as far as WW is concerned. So let's talk about a swap in protein. So think about your proteins that you eat. Are they high in smart points or low in smart points or a combination of both? And if you tend to eat a lot of high point proteins, things such as red meat or fattier cuts of protein, bacon, that type of thing, how about making a swap this week? Take one of your your higher point protein sources and swap it for a lower or zero point protein. That way it helps you get in your protein a little bit more. For me, I am going to make hard boiled eggs, which was not even on my meal prep plan so that I can have those for snacks this next week. You don't always even have to eat the yolk if you're trying to watch your cholesterol. Just eating the whites of the hard boiled egg with a little bit of seasoning, some salt, some pepper. My favorite is everything but the bagel seasoning. It really helps pump up your protein for your meals and they are zero points. So it allows you to save your points for those meals that you do want to have maybe a higher protein count lean protein. So protein count, higher points value protein. So you know I follow the 221 method. I limit myself to two zero point proteins, two zero point fruits, and one zero point starch per day. So one of my meals always, always has a protein source that has points and I just work it into my points for the day. So let's make it a challenge to up our protein, stick to the low point or zero point proteins for the majority of your meals, at least two if you follow my 221 plan. And let's see if pumping up the protein this next week makes a difference when we hop on the scale. Alrighty, so let's talk about when I stepped on the scale. As I mentioned, my life is horrible and I started Shark Week yesterday. So today is day two, so I am extremely bloated. I do not feel well. And when I hopped on the scale, it all came to fruition for me. I actually gained 1.6. I about lost it when I stepped on the scale, but then immediately my mind shifted and I thought, there's no way that I gained 1.6 pounds of fat this last week. So I'm attributing it to being a woman once a month. And I'm hoping to see that and then some fall off of the scale next week. So I'm a little bit disappointed. It's never nice to see such a large gain when you hop on the scale. But then again, we have to think about why that gain is happening. Is it of our own doing or is it because our body is going through something, whether it's medication or shark week or something that's causing us to gain weight. Maybe you started a new workout program and your muscles are extremely sore and retaining water. So I am okay with, I'm not okay with the gain, but I'm okay with the gain because I know that it wasn't something that I did. I didn't go completely off the rails and eat everything in sight this last week. So I know that I'm going to see that next week. So that is what I'm going to focus on. You know me. I try to keep it positive. I like to keep my channel positive, my social media positive. So I'm going to also keep this video positive. And I know that I'm going to see that drop on the scale next week. So I'm okay with it in a sense, and I'm not going to let it get me down. It's just going to help me refocus, be re-energized for the upcoming week. So for this next week, my goals are to one, up my protein, and two, I would like to get a blue dot six out of seven days. So I'm not necessarily doing a blue dot challenge, but if you're with me on trying to get six out of seven blue dots, great. Let's put a group together on my Facebook page. If you are not part of my tribe, 
make sure that you join my Facebook page. I'm going to put it right here on the screen for you guys. Make sure that you hop on and join so we can share with each other how our week goes. Did we up our protein? Were we able to get six out of seven blue dots? Seven out of seven is not something that I typically can do because I do use my weeklies on Saturday. So I don't ever get a blue dot on Saturday because that is when I use my weeklies. But I'm shooting for six out of seven blue dots because I want to see a big drop on the scale next week. And I think by putting together Together, the blue dots and also upping my protein, I think that that is definitely going to happen for me. So I want to hear how was your guys's week? Are you with me on upping the protein? How do you think What's your thoughts on a six out of seven or however many days that you feel is doable for you blue dot challenge for this next week. So make sure that you comment down below. Let me know what you think of the challenge. What do you feel about protein? Do you incorporate a lot of protein and how was your week? If you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe, hit that little notification bell. So you're notified every time I upload, give this one a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below for me. Stay tuned for a clip of the recipe on the back of the weekly. It sounds delicious. Eggs, avocado, since we're talking about protein. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.